by our donors, ma'am. At this point, let us hear a message from... Director Ricardo L. Calderon. And of course, our very own counselor, Leo Avila. Guest and co-movers, another milestone in our collaborative undertaking to address the rapid destruction of our marine and fresh waters brought by human indifference and neglect that's aggravated by wanton exploitation of our natural resources. Poverty is on a downward spiral with environmental degradation where the poor continue to till the remaining resources in order to survive. That has added pressure to the already sad scenario. It is now high time to recognize the urgency to quadruple our effort in order to outrun its pace of destruction. Indeed, for the past years, that the Human Development International, together with the city government of Davao, DENR, the Human Development International recommended the temporary closure of Mount Apo in 2000 as to give the tallest mountain in the country a respite from years of onslaught. This was reinforced by the call to save Mount Apo and the mountains of the world which the movers of the call to continue its noble work that seeks the greater good of God's creation. At this juncture, I am happy to report to our Honorable City Mayor of Davao, Rodrigo R. Duterte, Director Ricardo L. Calderon of DENR Region 11, and the people of Davao, Department of Foreign Affairs, UNIO, and the Philippine Mission to the United Nations in New York has contributed inputs in the UN Resolution on Sustainable Mountain Development that were adopted recently. These inputs form the Philippines' contribution. Indeed, this Davao Initiative has not only spread to other countries, but has also influenced policy decisions at the United Nations. A feat of a great historical and international significance that we all Davaoenos can be proud of. And as we celebrate Earth Day today, it is just but fitting to end my speech by uh, re-echoing the segment of the call that has been re-echoed in many countries and including at Mount Everest. Fellow citizens of the world, the unbreakable interdependence of nature's ecosystem could adversely affect the ecosystem and the world's environment destroy our very existence regardless of race, creed, nationality, or even territory. Thus we are calling upon all those who have the power, the opportunity, and the dedication. Let us be faithful to the privilege of our responsibility because we only have one world, one earth, and one planet. Dagang salamat.